you are driving on the wrong side of the road now, you know. No, I'm not. So, welcome guys to another video. As you know, right now we are here in Spain uh, for the launch of the 3 Series and the Z4, but in this particular video, if the sat nav decides to be quiet, uh, we will give you a quick overview as to kind of what this car's like to drive, a quick overview of what you can expect to get if you were to buy this. And on my right, if you don't know, Mr. Roy Reed. What's up? How are you doing, Steph? I'm very well, mate. How are you? I'm not too bad. I feel privileged. I'm your I'm a chauffeur today. I know this is this is rather nice. I mean we've done a couple of press trips together, but it's the first time you've been on the channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We partnered up for this one. That's it. That's um, it. I haven't driven with you, but I've I've had the pleasure of your company on numerous occasions. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> some well, stories, yeah, some, some stories some, to be told. Some stories, and Rory has some evidence on his phone, which he loves to remind me. Yes, yeah, so if you ever cross me, mate, if yeah. you ever cross me, that's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> I will make sure I don't. But um, so I'm with Rory on this uh, in the new three series, and of course the next video, guys. If that probably the first video you guys would have seen, which is already out, is the Z4 M40i video, which uh, me and Rory would have done as well. So we are right now in the 320 diesel. Yep, 320, um, brand new three series. Yep. Um, I'm liking it, man. It's do, nice, isn't do it? Do you know what? The first thing that's kind of struck me, apart from the design, is this lovely steering wheel. I, I often say that the first point of contact with a car is the steering wheel. Yeah. If you get that right, you're kind of onto a winner because it, it makes you feel connected to the car. Yeah. And it just, it just sets you up for a good driving experience. And they've nailed the steering wheel in this thing. Obviously, the new 3 Series being kind of BMW, arguably one of their most important car, isn't it? Oh, it's yeah. Kind of where By far. They, they've built their brand based off the 3 Series. This is the seventh generation of 3 Series as well. And this this specific new version of the 3 Series comes with, I think it's five different variations. So a 318, a 320, 320 X-Drive, 330, and a plug-in hybrid. Yes, exactly, yeah. So, um, I mean, this car's really important for them. It's their bread and butter. It's the car they sell. Um, it's the car that kind of, they hang their reputation on that whole line about BMWs being the ultimate driver's car, yeah. the ultimate driving machine, all comes from the, the 3 Series and every other model of that um, kind of follows the lead of the, three, of the 3 Series. It's been quite, it's obviously been a rather anticipated launch, the 3 Series, and also coming later on in the year, we're expecting to see a 340 variation of this, which uh, I would believe will probably house the, the B58 engine, which you're seeing in the Z4, also the M140i, which should potentially produce around the 340 bhp mark, but we are yet to know that. For now, these are the current variations we're in. We do know that it'll do 0 to 60 in 4.4 though. Yeah. So it'll be quick. And that's kind a kind BMW 4.4 as well, which is relatively conservative. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. But the diesel, I mean, it, uh, what I can tell you right now, yeah, is that it's got a lot of torque, as you'd expect from a diesel. Yeah. I think they're talking 400 Newton meters. Yeah. Uh, 0 to 60 in about seven seconds. Yeah, 6.8. 6.8, right. Yeah. And they're saying that that is about the same as the original M3's yeah. acceleration. Which is kind of bonkers, really, how far we've come that we can do that in a diesel. Yeah. I mean, look, look at these, look at these Wang roads. Look this at corner. this. Look at this. It's. It's good. It's taking it. <laughs> it's taking it. And, and the thing is, you, you wouldn't think that this is the 320 diesel model. But what about driver input? What does it feel like? Um, so the chassis is new. Yeah. They're talking about the fact that it's up to 50% stiffer in a lot of places, um, and 50 kilos ish lighter than before. So. That, in theory, should translate to more driver enjoyment. Um, and I mean, I'm not really pushing it right now, but it's it's quite direct. Yeah. Uh, there's not an awful lot 
of feedback through the steering, but what you do get is this kind of sense of sure-footedness about the car. Yeah. It's quite agile and it kind of inspires a lot of confidence in you to push it. And um, I think that's that's what you need in a in, in a in a in a driver's car. And they've set that up clearly because they they're targeting people who want to drive a car for enjoyment and not just getting from A to B. Yeah, and I think one of the other things that's quite important to know as well. I mean, we are hanging it around these corners, and and BMW have gone with almost a dual dual adaptive suspension, isn't it, on this car? Yeah. So they've got two modes. They've got your sport mode. Yeah. Um, I'm in the comfort setting right now, so I'm gonna whack come to sport. Yeah. Yeah. That's just comfort. That's just chilling. Hit up right. sport, my that's friend. Sport. And conveniently, <laughs> the corner. And. Uh, Oh, look, see, that's there's not there's, there isn't that much roll. There's, there's not a lot of body yeah. roll in there. It holds it holds uh, it holds onto the corners quite well. And 400 newton meters at all kind of launches you out of the corner. Yeah. For a diesel, it's all right. And this is this is the thing, isn't it? For I mean, this kind of, you touched on it a bit earlier on, but you said they, they, the zero to sixty time and arguably the feel of the car will be different to what the original Gen One M3 was like. Because to perform a zero to sixty time in similar time is is bonkers. But actually, because it's so refined as well, you don't necessarily feel the speed as much in this kind of car that you would have done in the old M3. Yeah. And they're kind of, it's, you can't really compare apples and pears because an M3 is thoroughbred, built just solely for solely performance. Whereas this, yeah. you know, this is an everyday car, a cruiser, yeah. you have some performance when you want to use it. Well, it's going to be a Repmobile. Yeah. I mean, the 320D, people are going to be using this to pound up and down the motorways. Yeah. But I guess the good thing is that when the mood takes you, if you want to go onto a B road and wang it around. Yeah, spice it up a bit. Exactly. It's not going to shy away from that. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm quietly impressed like, that for a diesel, that it does kind of inspire that amount of confidence and that, that kind of breadth of ability. Yeah. It's a really nice interior. And I guess touching on interior, so we've got the, the iDrive 7 or the operating system 7, which BMW like to call it in here. Again, very 8 series feel, very luxury. I do like this. The center console area as well looks very nice. The driving modes on separate buttons. So you've got Sport, Comfort, and Eco Pro on yeah. separate buttons. So you know what you're pressing. Remember on the um, on the previous cars, you had that kind of weird rocker switch. Yes. Where you had to kind yeah, of yeah, slide yeah. it forward or backwards yeah. to, to figure out what, what mode you were going in. This is... Um, yeah, it's a, I think it's a lot more direct. You press it, you know what mode it's in. Mm. Sorry, some school children yeah. are admiring me. They do like it. I think it's you, mate. Yeah. <laughs> they're, like, they're like, oh my God, that's Rory Reed. <laughs> Hi, guys. How's it going? <laughs> Who? Oh, let's see. Real men wear pink over there. Go on, lad. <laughs> we digress from this three series. How do you feel about this that this display in front of the steering wheel right here. So they've gone full kind yeah. of TFT display instead of like needles. Um, I have a slight problem with the rev counter. So they've got this kind of uh, dual setup here where on the left, the speedo goes up in a kind of C shape mm -hmm. and the rev counter goes up in a backward C shape. Yeah. And I'm seeing the, reds, the revs rise backwards in the, yeah. in the opposite direction to what I'm used to in a normal car. Go for it. <laughs> All right, let's do him. We've got him. Diesel power. Yeah, get that 400 newton meters of torque in there, mate. No, I think, so we were touching on this a bit earlier on. and I, So I, I like it. I like the display. I think it's very nice. I think it's obviously the, the route that BMW going down with the whole new modernized TFT display. But I can see your point about the rev counter on the right hand side. Yeah. Um, I think we were saying that a, a really simple solution would be literally to flip it. Yeah, have the revs, have on, the the revs on the left and speed on the right. Yeah. And the other thing as well that this car has as well, so um, a lot of them, the new BMW, I think one of the important things as well from the, the previous generation of 3 Series, um, you were able to spec a BMW with, I think it was up to 44 different options. Wow. And this specific car, the new 3 Series, BMW are only offering up to 10 kind of optional extras, option packs, which yeah. makes it a lot easier for the driver, yeah. uh, or simple sorry for the buyer, yeah. nice and simple. And then I guess we get onto the subject of the exterior, the exterior design. Yeah. And um, BMW have always made some slight changes to this car than the previous generation of 3 Series. Um, I think one of the big ones is a much more rigid chassis to kind of complement the adaptive suspension, I think, well, the changes they made to the adaptive suspension. Yeah. What other things have they chucked in? I mean, it's a bit wider. Yeah. It's a bit lower. Um, they've dropped the suspension a bit. It's a bit longer. It's kind of the usual path that they follow whenever they bring out a new car. They you know, make it a few millimeters bigger in, in every direction. Yeah. Um, just to give you a little bit more space than before and, um, and, and, and accommodate any chassis changes that they might want to throw in there. Yeah. The, the actual physical, the aesthetic design is something that 
I struggled with in pictures because when I looked at the car when they, they first announced it, I wasn't 100% sure that I liked it. Mm. And I mean, BMW 3 Series have kind of always struggled with that in recent times because you go back to the classic yeah. 3 Series of old and yeah. you know, they've, they've all usually looked quite good. And I, I, I wondered whether they were running out of inspiration almost or going in the wrong direction with the, with the, with the exterior design. But when I saw this car in the flesh, in certain colors, not so much the white one, but the blue one. They do an orange model as well. Mm. I think it, it it hangs together quite well. I quite like it. The San Marino blue. That's the one. It's it's the color, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. San Marino blue is the color. I think there's a few other things as well. Like for example, so the three series now have the option to come with laser lights. Uh, for those of you who have watched my video that I did with Joe, we drove down to Geneva in the eight series. You can see how bright those things are. It's up to half a half a kilometer really of, of distance you can get from the laser lights. It's and do they incredible. do the, the adaptive thing where they kind of scan the road ahead and they don't blind other people? Well, maybe in the if if you've got them for the country you're in. But right. what we found when we were driving, I think about every hundred yards when there was a car on the other side of the road, they were flashing us because like the, <laughs> the beams were on. Oh, so you were in like UK mode. Yeah, pretty right. much. Yeah, <laughs> probably our fault, not the car's fault. <laughs> Um, I guess the other thing as well is, is the new rear lights, kind of 3D effect rear lights. Yeah. What do you think of those? Um, I like the idea. I think they, they look good, uh, especially from a distance. I wonder whether they're a bit too big for the car. Mm. They kind of go right to the edge of the car and I wonder if they can't, it's kind of a, a slender design, the actual physical body of the car and yeah. whether the lights are a bit too big and overpower the rest of the design is, is kind of up, up for debate for me. But in terms of the shape, I like them. Same at the front. Yeah, they're like big, big lights, mm. and um, and they've got a bigger kidney grill than before as well. So I guess that kind of helps to balance things out. Yeah. But see, I think I think for me, I, I quite like the rear lights. Yeah, yeah. It's just something about them. I think they wrap around the car nicely. Uh, and I think on one of the models that we had on display at the press launch, so you had the rear spoiler on a carbon rear spoiler, yeah. which just offsets beautifully against the lights, in my opinion. Let's have a go with this now. Seeing as you've hogged it all. <laughs> <laughs> How often do you say that about a diesel? I know. Please let but me have a go. But that's the thing, isn't it? I think to be fair, uh, which one am I going to? I need to. I need to perform the world's best three-point turn. Uh, turn around. You are driving on the wrong side of the road, you know. No, I'm not. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. I'm, I'm fully insured, so it's, uh, it's all good. So Got my BMW. life insurance. So so a BMW. Right? <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine that? On the right side now, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah this is good. Stay right. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> I'm not that bad, I swear. Actually, I think I've done all right. I think there's some nice twisty bits here so you haven't hogged the entire route. But it does, it does have a very, it's a, it's a very rigid ride as well. You know, take the corners. Like you said, not much roll. It is quite direct, isn't it, steering-wise? Yeah. yeah. And the steering firms up in sport mode as well, give you a little bit more resistance. Yeah. Oh, I mean, these roads are just glorious, aren't they? This is amazing, flipping out. It's interesting, that engine noise is not, it's not that diesel-y no. at all. It does sound more like a petrol than diesel. I think, uh, I wonder whether there's um, noise enhancement on this. I think a lot of the new modern BMWs have that built in. Which yeah. I don't, I don't, a lot of people are quite negative towards it, but personally, I don't mind, I don't it. mind it. I, I don't mind it. In the age that we're going where obviously, you know, hybrid electric is so important, but also uh, emissions regulations are so high, mm. you know, I mean, look at the M2, perfect example, M2 competition. Yeah. It, you, you get rid of that, that noise, it sounds far too quiet. Yeah, I think if they get the noise right, then it definitely adds to the driving experience. Yeah. Um, and I think BMW, they do, a, a decent job of it. There are a few manufacturers that get it totally wrong though. Yeah. I think for the last, and I've been a relatively quiet just because I've been enjoying enjoying the drive. It literally is, it's very compliant. And it's, it holds the road really well. I'm impressed mate. Yeah, it's nice. Right guys, so I think that kind of concludes a quick kind of first drive first impressions of the brand new BMW 3 Series. I think, from my perspective, I think BMW have done a cracking job with this car. Really looking forward to the, the future, more powerful versions of this car. But as a, as a package, for me, 320 diesel is definitely, I think they've done well. For the seventh generation car, with so much risk attached to it and the requirement for it to be a good car, 
I think they've pulled it out the bag with this one. Rory, final words? Yep. Um, follow me on Instagram, Mr. Rory Reed. Oh, oh, about the car. Oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll leave your links below in the description. Make sure you follow Rory, of course. <laughs> no, no, I think they've nailed it, man. You know, the, this is the ultimate driving machine. Uh, always has been and it kind of continues the legacy really nicely so yeah. yeah again like you said Steph looking forward to the more powerful versions but as a starting point 320D on to a winner they've done well and on that note guys as always thank you so much for watching I will leave all of Rory's Rory? Rory? Laurie. Rory's social media links in the description. Mr. Laurie Lee. Mr. Laurie Reed. Yeah, make sure to go check Rory out. Um, but um, yeah, my name's been Steph. You guys have been awesome. Thank you so much, and I'll see you all very soon. Oh, yeah. Thanks for watching.